Okay, so how are the uh, garden doing on this end? So I got the containers in the trees here, uh, some fruit trees and whatnot. Uh, they tend to be growing and doing fine. Not necessarily a lot of fruit, a couple of peaches on this one, but they're still young plants, mulberry and peach. Now I got things in containers, and I think, you know, part of the containers here in Texas, and especially how I got them, I'm watering them twice a day because it's very hot now, and they dry out. The container, as that sun hits it all day long, that'll dry out the dirt in the container in no time. So I wonder if things like, you know, if you, if you kind of look over here, the tomatoes in the ground have grown very well there you can see all the tomatoes that are on the bottom and the plants are tall now the things that I have in the container are a little more sickly I think if you kinda look at it this way right and uh, they're more heat uh, you know affected I think by the heat even with watering two times a day uh, you can see the cucumbers in the ground are doing fine right so Maybe while other climates might do fine with tomatoes in containers, uh, it could be that, you know, the heat gets to them a little bit more, uh, you know, than other plants. Uh, the cherry tomatoes do pretty good, and you can see that that was pretty prolific in the container. But I'm just thinking that for the bigger size tomatoes, while you can see I've got tomatoes and flowers, so, I mean, it may do okay, but I'm just wondering if it's stronger directly in the ground as the tomatoes over on that side have been but now again it's it's June July you know <laughs> it's it's pretty tough for anything to really grow in this heat regardless of where you're putting it uh, you know it's it gets plants get very stressed when they get so much Sun back here now kind of hiding in the shade a little bit are my peppers uh, you can see these are like ghost pepper, scorpion peppers, and then ground cherries. This plant here kind of gets big and flops over, and it just had it gotten rogue into my one pepper plant, so I'm just letting them both grow in that in the pot here. Uh, and they're growing the ground cherries, and you can see that the ghost peppers are growing too. So these guys like a little shade, if you ask me. They work well in heat, but shady. Uh, as well so back here on the fence I think they're fine uh, but the tomatoes in the ground you can see that I mean I couldn't ask for any more nicer tomatoes here growing on the bottom and they're you know starting to turn and get ready and it's all a matter of picking it before somebody eats them but I keep stringing them up and they're tall now so maybe going forward maybe I do more in ground in this position than containers right uh, and then like I say, the peppers over here are getting tall, and I've picked some, and you can see here that I've gotten a big plate of them. I have to carry them in the house, but I got a big plate of them. Uh, nice peppers, growing well in the heat. They like the heat. And a melon. This is a rogue watermelon plant from last year. Now, if I can keep that guy from getting eaten, boy, I sure gonna try, because uh, it's a toughie. Something was eating them last year. But anyways, little garden update for you, and uh, that's about it. We will talk to you again.